Hey there, and welcome back to Mastering Christmas Monster. Yeah, I guess we're doing that. So today I'm going to put you in a snow globe like that. That's right. I'm going to show you how to get yourself into a snow globe, send some fun video to your friends. It's going to be a fast moving tutorial. It is based on the techniques from the mask tutorial I recently did, as well as advanced kinemaster techniques. If I'm moving too fast for you, you're going to have to check out some of those other ones because I want to do it quick and get it and get you getting into the snow globe. So remember, like and subscribe and I will see you on the other side to put us all in a snow globe for the Christmas spirit. See you over there. As with the other mask video, this is step two. We're going to make the ball in a minute, but I wanted to show you how it works getting imported here because of some important parts of this particular video. First of all, you'll notice that my chroma key color is blue. That's intended to match the sky that is there, and it's going to knock part of it out. Let me show you by turning the chroma key on this layer on and now you'll see is that the blue obviously knocked out but let's look at the mask remember that black is what becomes transparent and you want the top half of your content to be able to see through the ball like I'm standing on the sand there but the sky is transparent which is why I made the mask match the sky color that is in there you might do yours differently like you could be on a grassy field but I definitely you need to have a horizon line in there you don't want to shoot this against a white wall and you really want that definition because that's going to give the snow globe look there and you're going to wind up picking your color against your sky or whatever is in your horizon line. Let's get into this now. I realized it's actually a three-part project. The first one was where I slowed down my original footage to 0.4. I shot it at 60 frames per second so I could do that and I put a few of them in a row of me spinning one time so I get the amount of time total that I want. You'll notice that there's an effect layer on top of this. This is the pinch and bulge effect that's available in the KineMaster store. You can see there's either pinch or bulge. I chose pinch because what that does is it gives that kind of a little bit on the background of a dip or a circle and I'm going to show you the settings in this I have it to strength one this is what zero looks like and it makes the horizon go down and it kind of sphere out the rest of it this is too extreme higher but you can see the actual circle there again I just set it to one and it gives a little bit of a sphering I'm not going to reset it I export this and we're going to bring that into the next project. When we export these things internally, we always set to high settings. Now let's move on to the next part. Now here's the globe project itself. You can see me in the background there as the clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this and show you to kind of take it apart so you can reassemble it yourself. The first layer I'm going to show you sits on the very top and this is a PNG that is downloadable in the description and what it is I'm going to show you on normal mode right now is it's a PNG with just black and white and you can see it's the shape of the ball itself. Now when you turn a PNG like this with white on it to multiply, it gets rid of all of the white and becomes see-through and that's where you get that cool shape. All right, so that's downloadable in the description. Now I'm going to turn the opacity off on it and see the lower layers below it. So you can see that I also added a fake, just a solid color. What this is, and there's another layer where we're going to do something similar to this, uh, but this is if I have a solid color layer. So let me make believe I'm adding a new one. I would just go ahead and add media images and add any one of these colors and then set the color to the color of this. Now. I'm going to show you that it has some cropping on it and some feathering on it. It's got this shape. So if I turn the feathering off and I turn the cropping off, you can see that it's just a rectangle that's there with that brownish color that I chose to look kind of like a gold. So when you turn on the shape on top of it, it looks kind of like brass. All right, so let me go ahead and turn that one uh, down as well. We're moving down and that sits on top of the masked layer as does the PNG. Okay, so now we're looking at this and we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at our circle mask layer that then makes the shape of the ball. Okay, and so this is this layer here and you can see that this has an effect on it. That is our circle mask and remember these are downloadable in the KineMaster store. Uh, it's the circle mask and I have gone ahead and remember is that you can move it around, you can resize it to fit the parameters. You do this 
this once you have the shape of the black ball. So it, it's kind of like a process, but you know this, we move the size and then that changes the size and gets it to fit with the ball turned on, all right? So that's our circle mask there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the opacity down on that so you can see what's underneath it. In addition, there's one more layer aside from the layer of the video with me, and that is a layer that has a blur circle on it, okay? And so this is an effect layer that is called blur circle, and you go ahead and that's downloadable in under blurs, I think. Yeah, nope, it's called Focus Blur 2.0, downloadable from the Kinemaster store. And then that gives you the opportunity to choose this circular blurring. And then there's a lot to change in here is like where the center is, what the radius of it is. I'll change, you can see the radius goes boom. And you just get this to match up uh, with the shape of the black outline that's out there. A lot of this is about turning something on and off. You know, let's just, actually we'll do it right now, is I will turn the alpha back up on this and we would make this match by moving things around. Uh, so it takes a little time to match the stuff up, um, but you can come back in and edit all of them and kind of change opacities on and off to see how it makes it come together and fit. The more time and attention that you spend on it, probably the better off that it winds up being. Let's go ahead and we will uh, turn the opacity off on that so we're no longer seeing the blur layer. And there's the layer of me there that we made that you can see from the pinch thing. There's one more layer that you may not have kind of noticed is this, I don't know, I can't remember what they call this, it, uh, not a transient, but it's um, the, the light that flashes on. This is a fake light that I've created by putting a circle of white in here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn the mask off on it. I'm gonna turn the cropping off on it and I will turn the opacity. So you can see it's just a rectangle, a white rectangle that then I basically lowered the opacity. I turned the cropping on on it and the cropping had a circular mask with a lot of feathering. So it gives this look of like the light hitting the ball. When we turn about everything back on, you'll see that again where that actually comes into play. And then the last piece of it is, is the snowblower effect. And that is a wonderful little effect uh, that is a sticker available in the Kinemaster store. And the sticker name is snowblower. Um, eh, it's, I have a lot of these. Oh, there he is. Snowblower. And you can choose whether the snow is coming from what direction that it's coming from. Um, you know, I think that these are, are, are good ones. Uh, but you can choose that how you like that as well. And that is a sticker that is in the Kinemaster store. So let's go ahead and turn these layers back on so you can see it reassembled one more time. Is let's turn this on the, um, the outer shape on here because just so you'll notice that white of the fake light hitting there, um, that's really, I think that that really adds to the effect and go ahead and I'll add this solid color before I add the mask so you can see once again what I was kind of talking about is that that is makes it uh, because the top of the PNG becomes see-through up there so you want something in there and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the blur circle back on and you can see how this really adds to the edges of the ball to make it more like a snow globe actually would really kind of look to your eyes. The last piece of it is to turn the mask layer on. I'm gonna turn the alpha opacity up to zero. We resize it, I'm not gonna rework and resize that. You would do that and make that fit in um, to, and actually, you know what? I may as well just do it to show you is how this works when you're working with changing the parameters is you just wanna make that match there, boom. Ah. Didn't do very good. My, sometimes my fingers slip out. But get it. Okay, close. Um, so <clears throat> then we'd go ahead and we would go and we're done with that. We export again. And remember, always export when you're coming back into the movies on super high quality. And you'd export it and bring it back into our original. And you would be good to go. You would have your snow globe world.
All right, I'm coming back here just to show you importing back in. Like we would choose a layer, we would go to our media, we would find our export folder, and I just wanted to show you how many times I tried with different colors and realized that this is the way to do it. All right, so I'm not perfect, and it takes time to figure things out. Uh, bring it in and go ahead and turn on the chroma key. And once you turn on the chroma key, you're definitely going to want to work with this chroma key in here again. Checking out my chroma key videos, really working on this to get the most convincing effect. I'm not going to do that here because I spent a lot of time doing that. Just a couple of little thoughts with it. I'm going to make believe that that's perfect. It's not. Um, but also one more thing is that you could do this without the part on the top and you could have it be a snow globe. Obviously you'd film it otherwise, but sitting on a desk like this might work. Um, you know, your positioning in your scene just depends on you. And again, the color that you film it, that looks pretty funny of me standing up upside down back there. But hopefully that you have fun doing this and it's great as a snow globe, but maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas, so you can use it for other things as well. Okay, I hope you're able to get that. If you need to, watch it through a couple of times, put yourself inside the snow globe, and I will see you the next time. Remember, like and subscribe, get out there and make some awesome content with the best mobile video platform out there, KineMaster, and I will see you KineMaster.